Uh, anyway, how's it going? Uh, some people will probably uh, arrive and kind of filter in, but I won't wait because they can, you know, uh, this video will be posted later. People can go back and kind of see it from the beginning. But I want to go through the steps first for setting this up. And uh, so this is going to be the Mr. FPGA. If you're not familiar with that, it's a front end for an Intel FPGA, which will let us uh, load a bunch of different cores. Each core is going to, you know, mimic some piece of hardware. Usually it's consoles or old computers or arcade machines. Um, for this stream, we're going to focus on a 486 core, install DOS on this, and then uh, and get some games installed and see what runs, what doesn't run, what's working, what's not working. Uh, the AO486 core is still pretty, it's, it's not complete for sure. Uh, it lacks, I think, the coprocessor um, and some other things which will make it run more like a 386 rather than a 486. So some games might not run at all or they'll run kind of bad. Uh, other games that are, don't need that power should run just fine. Um, so first things first, uh, I went ahead and I have my, well, I'm going to assume that you've already set up Mr. If you're, uh, you want to get this set up yourself. Um, so I already have my Mr. set up. I have my cores all installed. All the only thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the, the DOS image installed and make that work. So let, let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So, uh, over here under the Mr. Data H, that's my SD card. I put my Mr. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll let me go ahead and set that up now. So let's see. Uh, so we're going to store everything. And I've already set this up myself a little bit. So some of these here are things I was messing with earlier, but I'm going to create a new image to start with. And that's going to give you an idea of kind of what you need to do if you're trying to set this up yourself. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is create your VHD. Your VHD is going to be your virtual hard drive. Uh, you'll do that with your disk management application in Windows. It looks like this. Uh, that's what I'm talking about right here. Um, so what you'll do is you'll go on, you'll go to Action, Create VHD. You can't actually see me clicking the other buttons because of how this is capturing. But basically, I'm saying create. I'm giving a location. I'm uh, giving it a name, MS-DOS2, since I already have an MS-DOS regular. Uh, you can give it a size. I'm going to give it 512 megabytes just because that should be plenty. Uh, and then make sure it says VHD and not VHDX. So once you do all that, you press OK. You'll see this uh, drive here up here, this VHD up here. Uh, so let's see. I've um, done that. So now you should see here. Oops, you can kind of see it. I have my windows overlapping. Let me get rid of that. Uh, so yeah, you can see here now we have the MS DOS two. Uh, this is going to be a it's a blank disk image that we have to kind of uh, get set up ourselves. We're going to copy that over to our AO forty six directory and the SD card we're going to put in our Mister. Uh, you can't see it transferring, but right now I'm copying it over. It's like halfway done. It transfers pretty quick on these SD cards. It's not too bad. Um, I think the most I really copy over is about two gigs, uh, which is that games directory here. I'll show you uh, what that VHD is for early. Okay, so now we've copied it over. Um, I've already grabbed the boot zero and boot one ROM files, which are required. You can get those off GitHub for the AO486 core, um, and they'll, they'll give you links to download those. So you need to put those in the AO486 base directory as well as your VHD. And we're going to go ahead and uh, eject this now. Uh, I mean, you could just pull it out, but I don't suggest that. I suggest doing an eject first. OK, uh, let's go ahead and get these out of the way. We don't need these windows anymore. Now that we've done that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and yank this SD card out and put it into the mister, which is currently running. I don't suggest. Uh, I don't suggest pulling your SD cards out of your Mr. while it's running like I did and inserting it. And to be safe, I'm actually going to reset my Mr. now. Um, you never know if you're writing data or reading data. So it's better to not do that. All right. OK, so now we're going to, now we're all booted up. Oh, you can see too, uh, now Mr. supports backgrounds. So I have a background loaded. And then uh, 
it, it's actually outputting 720p so i have it cut off in four by three because all the content i play is four three uh, now i have multiple keyboards and multiple mice in front of me so my typing might be a little bit weird today uh, the main reason for that is because well i have a keyboard hooked up to the mister for the interaction i also have a second mouse hooked up to the mister for any games that require mice all right so we're booted up uh, you can get the 46 core uh, just go to computers AO 46 that's going to load up right away now initially this will just fail we've mounted no images so you can see it here um, it actually tried to boot up the 46 it came in and was like oh crap there's, there's nothing there's nothing in the a drive uh, and there's also no hard disk uh, there to boot cool so unlike other cores we would just press f12 to bring up your menu um, you can still push the menu on the mister itself or you can hit the windows key and f12 and that will bring it up this time unlike just pressing f12 uh, now we're going to want to do two things here so the first things first uh, oh yeah the other thing i didn't show you too which i should have I mean, back up for one second, was in here, I actually have this floppies directory. Uh, I've put a couple games. Um, these are shareware versions of these two games. I have other games too, don't worry. I'll show you a bunch of stuff. But I also have uh, DOS 6.22, and I have the disks for this. So you need to get those. There's many sites where you can grab this now because it's, it's just out there. Um, or you can copy your own disk if you want to. And then you need to get those into a disk image format. Uh, and this will allow you to mount them inside the mister. So I'll show you. So those are already copied over on my uh, SD card. Um, so I've kind of bypassed that step. But you'll see here in a second what you do with those. So back to this. We're going to mount a primary hard drive. So we need to tell it, you know, where's our hard drive. And that's where that VHD comes into play. So right here, um, this is the, this is the MS-DOS 2 VHD recreated. Uh, so it's totally blank. Hasn't been set up yet, hasn't been formatted, hasn't been partitioned, nothing's done to it yet. We go ahead and we select that as a primary drive. Right now, nothing's happened. Great. Now what we want to do is we want to effectively insert our DOS install disk. So this is going to be our mount uh, image, the mount floppy uh, command here. I have it under floppies, DOS, start with disk one. At this point, we've done these things, but of course, the 46 is, can't pick up new hardware changes that fast. So you have to kind of Come back in here and reset and apply HDD, which means reset and apply the new changes. Because you can swap a floppy on the fly, but you can't swap a hard disk on the fly. Uh, does it reboot the machine effectively? What well, we're starting up, uh, and the first thing is it, it in boot order is going to boot floppy first. So here we go. We actually have uh, the MS DOS floppy one getting booted up. If you want to set up, press return. Uh, Configure unallocated disk space. Okay, so this is now starting the install process, and it's going to go ahead and automatically start formatting the first hard disk it sees. We've only mounted the one, which was the MS DOS 2 hard disk, uh, so which was completely not set up before, but now DOS installer is going to format it for us. And this should be like way faster than what it would have been back in the day on the slow ass hard drives we had, you know, when stuff was new. So like now you'll see when this installs, it's going to be, you know, 10 times faster than, <laughs> or more than that probably uh, uh, to install DOS on, on this fake 486 than it was to install on the real 46. And most of that's going to be down to the SD media being, um, uh, whatever it's close enough, uh, the SD media. So let's see DOS, sounds great. Being way, way faster. Uh, in the hard disk we had back then. Like you can see this, this is flying by. We're already at, you know, 15% almost, yep. And it's gonna take no time at all. And it's like, you know, this is what you would have done installing this as a kid. The only difference is it would have taken forever because, you know, the floppy disk read speed was really bad. Okay, so now it wants disk two. So back again, it's gonna be Windows EF12. You can mount disk. So you can do this on the fly because it's a floppy drive. So it's used, you know, this can be done automatically. Uh, now that we swapped to disk two, we can just continue. Uh, and this will keep installing. I can't remember if we go away disk three or not, or if disk three was utilities. I think maybe we do disk three. And then there's a supplement disk in here that we won't actually take advantage of if I have it.
Hmm. That. We're almost halfway done, and that's you know, it's pretty quick. If I don't remember, I don't know if you remember how long it would have taken uh, before, but you would have been here for like <laughs> probably like twenty five minutes at least. I don't I I don't remember how long it took, but I remember it taking ages to install uh, install DOS, and then it's like Windows was even worse. Although it's like Windows these days is not much better. Okay, yeah, it does want disk three. Same thing. There we go. You didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to grab any media. You just do it to the middle. Right, let's see. Seventy seven percent. And it's kinda nice. You can read like Nowadays, when you install, you know, an OS, there's so many files, so you don't actually get to see which files are being installed. But like during this installation, you can see it mentioning every single file it's installing, because uh, there's really not that many. And you'll see when we go into the uh, the DOS directory, just all the files are sitting right there in some base directory, and it's just everything. You know, it's it's really a small amount of a uh, small amount of uh, executables and libraries and some other stuff. Um, there's not a lot to uh, the DOS OS compared to a modern OS. Great. Okay. So now this is this is the, the things get a little bit not tricky, but it's a little bit weird. Is you can't take out. Is I don't see a way to re, in this core to remove a floppy. Um, so a trick to get around that instead. Is you change the boot order here, because either flop, so we can the boot order is currently floppy disk drive and then hard drive. If you swap that and reset, this will make it boot from the hard drive first. Um, so that way, so right now the the uh, DOS disk three is still in the you know floppy drive effectively, but I changed the boot order. Uh, so this thing happens as high mem test thing will happen all the time unless you go and modify some config to remove it. Um, I, can, I can go over that maybe in a little bit, but it takes a little bit of time. It's unnecessary. You don't need to test the memory every time you boot it up. Uh, you can modify this, though. Like in the actual, when it runs the, uh, the high mem uh, binary, you can give it a command line um, to say, like, hey, don't, don't do this anymore. And you should, because it's going to be a total pain to boot. All right, cool. So we're booted, and yeah, this is DOS. So you have your your config, your auto exec. Yep, the DOS directory. Oops, I can type correctly. Sorry, but this keyboard is in such a weird location. Uh, yeah, so that's all the data. You know, that's everything right there. Uh, and you know, so let's see. Like, if you wanted to do something, you know, like edit a file, you can do that. So let's see. So if we want to edit uh, config.sys, came in here, you come in and you can modify the stuff. And actually, the high mem thing I mentioned too, there's a way to like, I don't remember how to do it, but there's a way to do, let's see if I can look it up real quick. Uh, high mem, let's see, disable high mem memory test. There's a way to do that in the command line. Uh, so it's like, Let's see, Does someone tell me what it is in this uh, thing. Oh, here it is. You just do slash test mem off. So here, I'll show you. You can do it right here. And you'll definitely want to do this. Otherwise, it'll get really annoying. Whoops, wrong keyboard. So many keywords. Uh, slash test mem. Oh, I don't think it has to be capital, but that's what it is in there. Uh, off. So here we go. That should make that go away now. So uh, let's see. All file save. Great. And boom. Now, if we go ahead and we'll go ahead and reboot just to test it out, uh, reset and apply. That's the best way to reboot, I think. You'll see here, look at that. We didn't do the memory test. It booted up way faster that time. So definitely do that. That's going to save you a ton of time. Otherwise, every time you boot up your, your core, it's going to take forever. All right, so let's install some games. Uh, so we can mount another floppy. Let's go, let's do Wolfenstein 3D. Now this is just a shareware version of the game. I don't, I don't have a Wolfenstein actual copy. 
So I, I see the shareware version. I didn't want to, you know, pirate it or anything. Um, I do have some full games, though, that are abandonware. Abandonware. Um, and I have some other shareware games uh, that we can play with. But starting with this one, put the disc in. Just jump to it. I think we just uh, install. Yeah. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, C sounds fine for now. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and create the directory. Yeah, look at that install time. You'd be here for way longer <laughs> if this was real. Uh, okay. Uh, where I think it gets a little bit slow here is it's in inflating the files it takes a little bit of time. Um, that might be due to the speed of the RAM and the core, or, or something like that. I'm not sure. It's not a ton of time, but it's still like you get so used to the you know, files transferring almost immediately because of the SD card that when it comes to inflating, it takes a while, especially on larger games. Cool. Uh, so it dumped us right into the directory. We're in C Wolf 3D. You can see here, we just launched the game Wolf 3D. I don't think we need to run a setup. Yeah, that's the only, there's no other uh, batch files or command files or anything. It's just the executable. See if it runs. Uh, joystick. I don't have joystick. This game is not share sure. Please not distribute it. Oh, well. I thought it was a share version. Maybe it's a freeware version. You're not supposed to sell it or something. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's not the full. At least I had when I I had it when I downloaded it, it's claimed it was a share version. Alright, let's see. Let's change the controls. Uh okay. Oh, okay. Joystick is not enabled. I don't know. I don't have a joystick, so I don't know what that would do if I enabled joystick. I guess like if I plugged in the controller into here, it would work. Uh, okay, so we can do a new game. Give this a shot. Oh, here, cat meowing at me in the background. Go away. Let's uh, make it easy because <laughs> I I don't really literally remember how to play. Yeah, looks like it's working. So this works great so far. Oh, has a tiny window. How's frame rate? Oh, it doesn't feel too bad. Let's see. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can change the... Uh, oh, escape takes me out of here. Let's change the view. Arrow keys. Okay, let's make it as large as possible. Except, see if this impacts the frame rate. Uh, and back to the game. So, frame rate wise, it still feels pretty good. Yeah, cool. I don't know why it starts it. That's like what makes the default the smaller window. Maybe when they made the game, when it made the game, they decided that was the uh, the one that supported the most computers. Their target audience had a machine that couldn't handle it at a higher resolution. Look at that. So, uh, I remember playing this a lot as a kid, but not as much as Doom. I was much more into Doom, well, because I didn't really get this until after Doom came out. So, you know, of course I wanted the better the, the better game. So I, I don't, sorry if I don't remember all this secrets here and which you can walk through and not walk through. I know there's like a ton of stuff. You eat dog food for life, why not? But you think how fast that was to install DOS, uh, install DOS. Get this game installed, get it running. That was really no time at all. I don't know that I have P9, but whatever. No, oh, you know what? Is there. Do we hear sounds? No. Uh, what's going on with sound? I didn't realize that until just now. So, okay, we have PC speaker, but I'm not hearing anything. And interestingly, so. This has a sound blaster, but I don't see a way to to enable it. Um, yeah, so the, the core has a sound blaster, supposedly. Uh, but I guess it doesn't work properly for this game, because, yeah, sounds aren't doing anything. And I should be able to go down to digitize sounds and select sound blaster.
Okay. Well, uh, I don't know. I guess that's a limitation right now. I'm not sure what causes that. Actually, let's go ahead and quit out. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if there's a setup now in this directory or anything. Like no, nothing got set up here. All right. Well, that's too bad. Let's go ahead and uh, that ran pretty well, though. Let's go see how well Doom runs. Okay, so this, this should be the shareware version of Doom. Oh, disk one and two. I was like, Doom two? What? It's a disk one and two for Doom. Okay, so now Doom's in. Let's go ahead and install. And again, it should be very quick. Yeah, see, now this is Doom. SW for shareware, so that's definitely the shareware version. Go ahead and create the directory. All right, so now go ahead and put the second disk in and return. And oh, gotta put the first disk back in for some reason. Decompress, sure. That seems inconvenient. I mean, it's not inconvenient for me because it's super easy to do, but I feel like, you know, if you were, <laughs> if you were uh, having to physically do that, it'd be annoying, but whatever. All the pod files. When I was really little, like I guess when this game, when it first came out, probably a couple years afterwards, uh, I used to try to do a lot of like do mod stuff, and like I never really got good at making it myself. I kind of could do some maps and things, but I would definitely like pay attention to the mod community. I download all the total conversions and all the mods and all the things. And I remember when I deleted Doom, like my directory was like 500 megabytes or something like that, which at the time was Lot. Uh, so I downloaded pretty much every single like mod and total conversion that was available, like that came out. Um, I probably didn't get good at modding until like Quit Two or, or Unreal came out, and then I did a little bit of stuff. Uh, I made maps and AI and stuff. Let's see, uh, we have mouse. Let's go ahead and try it with a mouse. Oh no, wait, we have a mouse, but we don't have. Uh, the mouse driver installed because DOS does not come with a mouse driver automatically. Uh, I do have an image though with it installed. Let me show you this. So you have to see the, let's see, I back out here. You have to download the mouse com uh, driver uh, that's available online. You can get it. You have to download that, copy, you have to basically copy your DOS image back to your computer, mount it, install that onto there. Uh, you have to modify one of the config files to tell it to actually load the mouse file, and then everything will work. Uh, I'll show you how, how stuff works a little bit later. But for now, let's just go ahead and just do Word only. I'm sure this game, I'm like, crap. All right, let's see. Uh, keyboard only. Uh, music playback device. Well, it should be able to do a Sound Blaster. Uh, so the Mr. Sound Blaster configuration is 2020. I guess there's no other uh, uh, sound bluster 2020. Uh, five is correct, one is correct. Number of digital channels, I don't really remember. Number of digital channels. Uh, you can just say three for now. Uh, let's go ahead and save the settings and run and see what happens. I kind of have a feeling this is going to, uh, I, I, I tried to run this earlier and I like, I remember just even the demo running was like really bad. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious if though, if we can play through a little bit Oh, the sound. All right. Let's see. The screen size impact. How much, uh, my frame we're getting here. 
I don't think so. Look at that. It's definitely like a CPU bound. I think it's because we don't have a coprocessor. But like even the larger screen size doesn't appear to reduce frame rate. Okay, let's ooh, sound sound kind of choppy now. All right, let's go ahead and just try it. <laughs> uh, let's yeah, we'll go to the easiest setting with this frame rate. All right, let's see. Well, I mean, it's not great, but to be fair, if you've played some of the console ports of this, it's not a lot worse than those. I mean, I, I would not choose to play like this, and I, I wouldn't. But yeah, it's it works, you know, and that's cool. Maybe eventually the core will get the coprocessor and then this can run smooth. Ooh, was a, a door moving was bad. I think the rooms that have stairs in it like are worse. <laughs> Any sort of complex geometry gets really bad. Yeah, like, I think if I the frame rate, like if I stare like here with not a lot of stuff, maybe the frame rate's a little better. And then you get here, you see the stairs, and it's like, oh god. I think it's just that's the geometry here is complex enough to really because like if you play the um, the console versions too some of them i know like the 32x version gets rid of like some of the stairs and some of the more complex geometry uh, just because it can't handle it there we go oh it's definitely working Let's see if you can just beat a level or two, and then we'll uh, move on to something that's higher frame rate. Okay. I won't get any secrets because the uh, frame rate makes that difficult. I'm sure you could beat the demo with this frame rate. Uh, you just wouldn't want to. That's cool. You can see a little load icon in the corner. Yeah, that's the one reason why I prefer consoles with a lack of loading. Well, I guess until you got the CDs and then you got a lot of loading. Ain't got from my left side. Yeah, and again, like, this is not playing very well, but it's accurate. I mean, it's working for sure. It's just slow. Um, so I'm really hoping that the there's people working on this, and they want to get the processor, processor working. If they do that, then the speed of this should greatly increase. It should go from, like, a 386 sort of speed to a 486 and just be a lot better. I wonder what the frame rate is. Maybe like 10? 10 frames per second? Yeah, I think I'm like getting disoriented in the game because it's so choppy. All right, we're not gonna play a whole lot of this because I feel like you'll get sick watching it, or maybe I'll get sick watching. It. Uh, okay, let's close out of this maybe. We just quit. Yeah, we can't. Oh, read this. What's it say? Oh, just call one eight hundred ID games, and for forty dollars, you too could have a copy. I wonder what happens if you call one eight hundred ID games today. Does that go to like Zenimax or whoever? Is that like are they? Someone still own that number? Mastercard and Visa accepted. Cool. All right. Let's 
see if there's anything else that I think. Oh, graphic detail. Okay. Does that help? Oh, maybe. Ah, uh, check that out. Hey, frame rate is a little better. I'm glad I checked the settings first because this, I mean, doesn't look great, but it, the frame rate's much better all of a sudden, as you would expect with a detail change. Now, can I make this full screen and keep a decent frame rate, or would that throw us over the edge? Well, actually, first, let's go ahead and uh, try smaller screen size. I'm curious. That looks like it's running pretty good. Uh, let's try it max screen size and see what it looks like. Oh, wow, I think it's pretty big. Pull it back. So, yeah, so I guess in this game, unlike Wolfenstein, where that didn't really seem to have an impact, I think we were just the computer was just fast enough to run it at max speed, no matter what the screen resolution was. Um, there is definitely an increase in frame rate by reducing the screen size. I think, yeah, look at that. That's totally playable. I mean, if you can get over how small it is, it's totally playable. And it's not maxed out, right? Obviously, there's still, if you look at stairs and more complex geometry, there's definitely frame rate issues. Like looking right here, you can kind of feel the frame rate drop. And if I kind of look right here, it's real smooth again. So. A shotgun. I forget where you get a shotgun in this game. It's been a while. Should be using a biceps strafing. I forgot how to strafe in this game. It's been so long. Oh, that was weird. You feel like the sound echoing. Oh, lots of echoing. That's not a uh, game sound effect. That's something screwy with the sound card. Okay, let's do it for zip. I know I missed a ton of secrets and everything else. 11% of items. Yeah, the sound is bad. Uh, I don't know what's causing that at all. Little tiny dude. And it's actually really small for me because I'm playing through my streaming window. I have like a like a real time stream capture window through the Elgato HD 60s. Um, just makes it easier for me to see my computer monitor and uh, play at the same time, which works pretty well. Um, generally, if I'm playing a very Twitch game, I would never want to play this way. But yeah, I don't really care right now for these games. I'm mostly just testing to see what performance is like. Yeah, certain scenes, certain sections, frame like this right here, the thing in the, the rooftop skylight, which looks really cool before its time. This is amazing, like with the light shining in. That causes the frame rate to get a little bit lower. Oh, oh, probably coming up on this is what really caused it. Okay, shooting at me from the sides, I think. Or maybe it's later. Are out. Where are you guys shooting me over here? Missed them. 
I feel like the frame rate is partly to blame for me missing him, but it's mostly just me. Uh, there's a way to cause this to drop, but I forget. Oh, I think it's jump right into there. And that's what you do. I knew there was a way to do this. Some health, these guys pop up. I remember them somewhere. Alright, this guy behind me, I think. Oh, maybe not. Can I shoot guys? Oh, I forget how to get into that room. There's a secret in here that I don't remember. Yeah, so I mean, again, it's playable. Uh, frame rate's not great, even now that we've boosted the graphics, but it's much better than what it was. Like, real quickly, oops, I'm being shot. Let me kill this guy. Okay, so like, real quickly, let's go ahead and compare when the graphics were set to, like, high. The frame rate, and then set it back to low. And yeah, you you pull out a few more frames. It's not like immediately better, and it's definitely not max frame rate. But you know, you can squeeze a few more frames out. This is definitely not the way I would choose to play the game. Just uh, quit out of this. I think we've seen enough doom for now. Yes, I do want to quit out the boats. Or don't order doom. Sit back with your milk and cookies and let the universe go to hell. Don't face the onslaught of demons and specters that await you in the doors of hell. Avoid the terrifying confrontations of the cacodemons, lost souls that infest inferno. Or act like a man, slap a few shells into your shotgun, and let's kick some divine butt. Yeah, so 100 ID games. You two could have a copy. All right. Uh, so I think I can actually fix it. My it's weird. I does not seem to be stuck. Am I not pressing the right button? Either way, we can quit out pretty easily. I want to do something too. So one thing I did ahead of time is I preloaded some games onto a VHD. So I'm going to change the, the primary drive over to uh, a DOS thing that I set up previously. Um, this has the mouse driver already installed. So we'll do that. Uh, and now we'll mount a secondary uh, VHD. So it's a secondary hard drive that I've pre-configured using FDisk. Um, and then I have it all set up with a bunch of games on it. Uh, just loading that again. It doesn't actually have any hardware changes until you reset. Once you reset, now you'll see here's two drives. ATA0, ATA1, one's 255, one's about 2 uh, gigs. And now, oh yeah, I also have, I guess I was doing some Genesis stuff too on this. Not much going on there, but I had, I was trying to, um, Build build a Sega Genesis game and then run it in a uh, 
run it in an emulator running on this. Uh, it, it runs really bad, uh, but it worked. So like, you know, if I get a, this is, let's see. That's the source code for, or part of the source code rather for my Christmas Sega Genesis game. Um, yeah, there was like a, I do this, if I could just run it, it was like, um, I think I could run this through Genesis. Yeah, I'll show you this real quick, uh, only because it's terrible. Uh, I need to do some. I have a mouse. Oh, other mouse. There we go. So let's see, where does where's my built ROM? I built this previously. Oh, there it is. And yeah, the, the intro screen doesn't work at all. Uh, so this emulator is definitely not great. Because this thing should be animating and doing stuff, so I guess the the, the Genesis emulator wasn't done back in you know 1995 or whatever it was. Oh, and the frame rate here. Oh, it works though. The frame rate you can see is is horrible. Like this should be 60 frames per second. And uh, yeah, my Genesis game is kind of like a ski free clone. And you you ski down here and you dodge things. And again, this would be 60 frames per second, nice and smooth. You grab some presents. Uh, you can't, yeah, there's no sound, but you'd hear uh, Christmas music playing, and then you'd, you know, the sound effects when you do stuff. Let's see, I'll just go far enough to hit something. You hit a tree. I'm going to show you how that looks at, you know, one frame per second, or one frame every two seconds. Oops, a tree, you go flying in the air, and then you get stuck in the snow. Bonk. And you lose your Christmas cheer. That's your ho ho hos. Uh, every, time you, every time you land like that, you'll, you'll lose one. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, how do I get yeah, exit this escape work perfect? Let me grab the direct. Oh, the frame rate's slow, low. Can I quit? It's gonna be so hard to quit. I clicked it. Did it open? Uh, uh, uh exit. It's Q. Oh, you didn't do it. Just quit, 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 quit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was really hard to quit. Um, so yeah, so on your mister, uh, using a Sega Genesis emulator in the 486 core is not recommended. You should just load up the Genesis core and everything works great. And the Genesis core and the Super NES core and the NES core, and, uh, all those are, are fantastic on the uh, mister right now. Okay, so I, I did the second drive. I'll show you that. So I have a D drive now. Uh, and I have some games here. Actually, quite a few games to test out uh, that we can go through. Let's actually see everything that I have. Uh, and I, I've tried running a few of these, uh, and they work pretty well. And then I some other ones I haven't ran yet, uh, so I don't know how well everything will work. But it's worth kind of giving it a shot and see what happens. Um, let's see. I'm going to play first. Let's go ahead and do, you know, I like this game, Dungeon Hack. So I'm going to do this one. Uh, this is like a, it's kind of like Eye of the Beholder style D&D uh, &D game, Dungeon Crawl from first person perspective. And I actually own the, like a SSI gold box collection that has this in it and a bunch of other of the SSI games that are pretty cool. I was, you know, a big D&D &D nerd back in the day. I'm a big D&D &D nerd today. But uh, as a kid, you know, any D and D game, was, I would eat it up. Uh, let's see, what do I run to start? That's what I always forget. Is it just a hack? It's just hack. Usually, it's going to be the name of the game, with the, either bat or executable, or a start uh, or something like that. Uh, all right, because this is going to complain. We don't have enough memory. I don't know why we don't have the extended memory set up in this, but for whatever reason, um, this core doesn't have that, so it's going to complain and not play sound effects, I guess. We'll find out. Well, music works, apparently. 
sweet intro works. Look at that. So I guess just sound effects, not music. Which is weird, because like, I've had some other games complain about um, not having like the FM synthesizer to be able to do music, but I've never had a complaint about sound effects. Forgotten Realms Dungeon Hack. AD&D 2nd Edition. Go ahead and skip the intro. We don't need to stare at this the whole time. Okay, and I this is a mouse game. Um, yeah, so you can't run this without setting the mouse first. They'll just give you an error and claim that you can't run it, which is funny because I feel like the game will work totally fine without a mouse. Except, well, no, I guess not because you'll see you have to click around the map uh, and like find secrets and stuff. All right, let's go ahead. I won't make a character. We'll just make a pre-made one or select a pre-made one. Uh, Email dwarf neutral good fighter. Why not? 17 strength, lots of constitution. That sounds great. And we'll play it on easy because, you know, I'm not here for a challenge. I'm just here making sure it works. I forget what year this game is. I. I Probably just said in like in the credits somewhere when we're going through, um, but I'm hoping it runs pretty well because yeah, without the uh, code processor, some of these games might just you know not run at all or just barely run. Cool. Okay, let's see. So mouse is working. I think the controls are, oops, not the arrow keys. Let's see. Oh, I think it's like, it wants to use my numpad for like the rotate. So I can click here and do rotation. Um, but you can also use the number pad to do that. So I'm gonna have this weird sort of like hands way off to the side. Uh, just scoot the keyboard over a little bit, makes it a little easier. Uh, yeah, so let's see. We click the map to open it, I think. Does it do anything? Oh, there we go. Oh, we're loading. I break the game? No, it's fine. It just takes a long time to load. Okay. Cool. Uh, and I guess save to disk. I wonder, is it saving the map to disk? Save an image of the map. I don't know why you do that. Show your friends, I guess. Or maybe you can save the randomly generated uh, dungeon and then save it and like load it later to play it on a different character. That'd be cool. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, like, oh shit, someone's attacking me. Without sound, <laughs> oh, close the character sheet. Without sound, I didn't hear it coming. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's a key somewhere that will probably look kind of like this, look like a vine. Oh, that guy dropped something. Go back. Let's see, click items. Uh, so right now they're just bracers. You can put them on. Sometimes they're cursed. Uh, it's probably just extra armor, I guess. Well, hold on. Let's characters. Let's see. Uh, should be armor class somewhere. Character. Put on the uh, the main character. I don't know. Oh, right there. Sorry, it's it's just the last thing in the list. Armor class of six. Let's see, if I remove that, what's that do? Still six. So I guess either they're magical or they're not magical. So if they're not magical, they're just there for decoration, I suppose. I kind of forget the second edition rules for things like bracers and gloves. I'm pretty sure they don't really do anything armor-wise. Oh, we got a potion. Magenta potion. Let's see, these are gauntlets. I guess they go in the same slot as those guys. Uh, and let's see, if they're cursed or not. Nope, they're not cursed. They change our armor class. They did, took it to five. So that's good. So those help. Um, because uh, in second edition, the lower your armor class, the better. Okay, let's try drinking this. I'm curious to see what happens. Oh, you not do it that way? How do you drink? 
There we go. You feel better. Oh, cool. That was a potion of healing, I guess. Yeah, I just gotta press these buttons so we can see them. Sometimes there's like hidden stuff, and there'll be like a rock to click on. Or some leverage you can't really tell is there until you click it. Oops. Oh, thought I saw something popping there. And then a lot of stuff's decoration. It's just a random pillar. Doesn't really do anything, I don't think. Um, frame rate wise, the game is already kind of low frame rate. Ooh, I, I wonder what it does. Try to cast it at a guy. You see someone next. I'm still looking for that key. You need the, uh, there's an illusory wall straight ahead. Oh, there you go. Look at that. There was an illusory wall straight ahead. Uh, what well, didn't lead to anything, so that's not useful. <laughs> I mean, these uh, the dungeon generator for this game isn't smart. You know, it doesn't it doesn't make interesting dungeons, just random ones. But you know, for games like this and like you know, uh, Rogue and Hack and all that stuff, that's kind of you know par for the course. Just randomness. Oh, try that. Uh, it's hitting him. We're doing. Oh, it does. Let's see. Does he get a name now? Driftwood Wand. But clicking it, I've used up all the charges. I wonder what I did to him. It didn't seem to do anything. It didn't get a name, so okay. Well, let's just drop it now because fill the charges. I don't know how we get charges back. Well, I'll keep it just in case. Oh, that red seems bad. Oh. Plus four. The red around ourselves. Put that on. I mean, it looks pretty good. We're, we have better armor class. Let's see. We're happy. Okay, quite a few places we haven't been yet. Yeah, you can click stuff and read about it. And it's just mostly decoration. Uh, sometimes you find stuff you can click on. All right, so gauntlets, are these better or different anyway? A class of four, this is what we had before, right? Yeah, I guess no difference than our, our previous stuff. I don't think we can sell anything, so it's pretty much whatever you find is just stuff. Uh, let me read this. I encountered an entity known as the Grave Mist. It appeared unhurt by all weapons, save for those magical in nature. The parchment crumbled. Okay, that's just like information you get. So if you run into a Grave Mist, it just it's, we know better to not attack it with a normal weapon. We need a magic weapon. As a fighter, I don't have any other magics. So here's a thing where it's like, think of that door. Look closely, or not so closely. There's a, a lever to press. Missed. You can run back to. Okay, so we're still looking for that key. Oh, I see a guy around the corner. Keep missing. Okay. We'll just do like one floor of a dungeon. We won't go very far, but so far this seems to work pretty well. Uh, I think there's no, I guess, no music playing when we're playing the game. There's no sound effects. That's kind of annoying. Uh, but watch, it's going to be the north sides where the key is. Um, but in terms of like interactions and graphics, it works really well. The frame rate was as low anyway, so I don't think the low frame rate is. The lack of a coprocessor, it's just that's just how the game plays. Although maybe opening the map, that not being instant and taking some time, I think that must be limitations of the uh of the 46 core that we're running.
guys this way. Oh, that was just an arch coming through. Oh, oh, there you go. So that's another thing right here. See, it's a button hidden, kind of hidden. I mean, it's pretty visible, but it's supposed to be difficult to find, I think. We got another journal page. Another thing, it's kind of it's kind of telling us about monsters we'll find that specters are immune to poison, paralyzation, and cold face spells. Great. So good to know. Uh, anyone who's played, you know, D and D or other RPGs, sort of knows what to expect when it comes to undead and other things like that. A lot of guys. Oh, there's more guys behind them, maybe. Back up, so I have a bottleneck here. Oh, both can go side by side. Oh. Oh, keep missing. Why do I keep missing? There we go. One guy's down. Oh, he dropped some stuff too. Okay. Protection from gas scroll. And oh, a throwing hammer. Okay, let's get that. Why can't I throw that? Does it take time to be able to throw? Or can I only throw it from my main hand? Uh, That way, how do I throw it at my face? I do. Okay. Uh, can I throw it here? Can I attack? I guess it's a two handed item. Let's try. I want to try throwing this hammer at the next thing we see. Let's see what have we got into? More to the north. Well, I guess I'm throwing it point blank. Oh, but it took him out. And then more stuff. Okay, let's. Oh, oh yeah, this hammer is awesome. I could have also killed him from a distance too if he wasn't so close. And that's the. What's this do? Oh, if you find coins, I remember this now. If you find coins, you can uh, drop them here, and it'll give you something like random enchantments or something like that. I forget what. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and just complete this. Then we can end it here. We don't have the links. Um, oh yeah, and this is the this is how they did uh, copy protection back then. It's like they'd expect you to have the manual. It's like you know you can't print out the manual for some reason, um, but then you have to look up whatever word is in here. And this one might be cracked to allow this to go through. Yeah, I think that one's that they've it's been cracked, so you don't have to worry about copy protection. Uh, it's super annoying to have to do that. I have to keep looking it up all the time. But it was cool too, like uh, some of the games had like a wheel that you could like spin the wheel and find runes and stuff, and that was kind of like a neat, very, it felt like, you know, uh, Dungeons and Dragons-esque, trying to solve the mystery of the puzzle, but it was just like decoding the uh, the runes, and you'd have to tell it what the decoded message was. Um, this one just made you look up the manual. All right, so again, I'm going to go ahead and quit this, because no reason to keep playing. You try out something else. Exit game. Are you sure you wish to quit? Yes. I didn't see how much XP we had, so I have no idea where we would have been. That's cool, though. You can see how much XP the person had and what killed them. So just like any other roguelike. He appeared to be stuck in a black screen. So sometimes I've noticed this core can freeze up, like, uh, or the games get frozen up, I guess. And then in DOS, so there's no real easy way to force quit a game, I don't think. And so these commands are not doing anything. So if that happens to you, just go ahead and again, uh, Windows F12, you can just reset and apply. And that seems to be the easiest way to just say, cool, bring it back up. And if you modify the config file like I did earlier, you won't do the memory test and you boot up. And it's no problem at all. Okay, let's see. That we're watching here. Let's go ahead, let's go back to D. Check out what other games we have. So let's see. No, 
Oh, oh. oh Street Fighter 2. There's a yeah, there's this DOS version of Street Fighter 2 that I think is supposed to be terrible. You should try that out too. Uh let's uh Oh, I have Duke Nukem. Okay, let's try this out. I have Duke Nukem uh, 1, 2, and, and 3D. Let's go try those out. Uh, let's see, what is the command? Probably Duke. Let's see, is it just Duke? Is it Duke 1 or something? What is the... Uh, if you don't know what to run, uh, you can, the quickest way I found is just do something like um, look at all the executable names. Uh, DN1. Um, if, you don't, if you don't find a good executable name, also check the, the bat files. So it might be a batch file that actually runs it. Because every game has a different way to start it, different name. Shrapnel suit. Okay, let's actually hit F1. I forget what. I don't really care about that. I want it more like controls. Here we are. A left arrow. Control is jump forward, alt fire nuclear pistol. Oh, it's nuclear pistol. Or Duke Nuclear. Hmm. All right. Can we exit out of this? Press an E. Okay, I don't care about the rest of this. Let's start a game. Now, this might be PC graphics, uh, stereo graphics, so, or sound, I mean, rather. So I apologize if that's super loud. Let's see. Oh, man. First Duke Nuclear. It's like so loud compared to the fact that it was uh, the last game was just silent. Hey, it works though. But like I remember playing this on like an old monochrome uh, laptop. My friend had this really huge laptop that was like from his. Uh, I like how the uh, the soda can is clearly coke uh, that my friend had from his dad or something. Um, who was a programmer. Oh, it's gonna blow. I forgot they put like random things that blow you up. Alright, so turkey and soda. Restore your health. And then, I don't think you have to shoot the uh, cameras, but... Oh, why not? Oh, crap. Like a footballs. Good old American football, Coca Cola, <laughs> and uh, and turkey legs. All right, we have an elevator here. Whoa, that's fast. It's supposed to be the fast. I go down. You can't go down. Uh, nuclear mo molecules increase your health maximum. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, it's a kind of Ooh, just barely. Oops, I shot the balloon. And balloons. Like, balloons are worth a lot of points. The, the item choices in this are weird. Like, what is this? Is this a TV or is it a radio that I'm picking up? I got the key. Good. Radio is just falling from the sky. High voltage. Uh, find the key that goes here and press up arrow. Okay, I found the red key. Perfect. Oops, I see that guy. Oh no, I didn't mean to fall. The sound effects in this are hilarious. Did this respawn? Ooh. Ooh, it's loud. There we go. Hey, look at that. We we beat the level, I think. Or the section. I don't really know how it works. You're entering the next level. Sounds like a good time to save your game. Great. How do I how do I save my game? No, oh, I guess that just quits quits. Uh sure. Yay. And hey, look at that. I'm number one. 
I beat Todd, Scott, George, Al, and John for just making it past the first level. I guess they really want you to feel good about yourself. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and check out the sequel to this. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm, cur I'm curious, like, how much did this uh, improve compared to the original? So, yeah, none of those look like the proper thing to run. So, yeah, I'd say check the... If you don't see an executable, it looks correct. Check that. Oh, oh, it's Nukem 2. That's what it was. Sorry, it was Nukem 2. Uh, executable file. They didn't keep the same naming convention for the sequel. The height of gaming excitement. And press the button here. Oh, it was waiting for me. I thought it was loading. Look at that fancy water. Oh, wow. Look at this animation. They love gradients in this, huh? Lots of gradients. Duke Nukem, you are looking stressed out, my friend. The uh, I guess he he got more way more badass from the uh, first one. <laughs> Why I'm so great? From an unknown force. All right, so we're getting abducted by aliens. Cool. I kind of don't remember what the storyline of the two. I played the sequel, um, but I don't really remember much about it. <laughs> uh, good time. All right, so let's go ahead. Okay, move, select, back out. I'm sure it's similar controls. We'll always go to easy because I'm going to be bad enough as it is. It's broke out of jail. All right, let's see. Let's shoot. Oh, sound off. Sound off. Okay. It looks like control is jump and alt is shoot. Ooh, and it's loud. Wow. I wonder if there's a way to, uh, hold on, let's go ahead and check. I want to see if there's a way to enable, um, no, I don't want to do that. Look at that, another one. Okay, I want to see if there's a way to enable better sound. Uh, can I? So, why does that not work? Is there a setup, maybe, outside the game? Let's check that real quick. So, uh, Nukem's, uh, catalog, dealers, D and D, D and to help, uh, would be, would have to be, that does. No, no purpose. Maybe delete it. Not useful. Uh, so I, I don't know why um, why we can't select Sound Blaster because we definitely have a Sound Blaster uh, in this core. Let's see if I can skip past this stuff. All right, easy. Get ready. All right, cool. I can skip the intro.
amounts of dynamite we actually have. It looks like a little nuclear warhead that explodes. But really, it just kind of spreads napalm. And we're still collecting TVs, because I guess we're a looter. We're an intergalactic looter. I feel like Duke Nukem 3D is all because you stole all the alien TVs and they're really angry at you. Oh, where'd the slime go? Oh, he can climb the wall. Or the ceiling, rather. Yeah, this sound in this is awful. I don't think I could deal with that. Uh, I really hope they can fix whatever doesn't let us load the sound blaster for this, because I know other games don't have this problem. So, I don't know if it's like something I need to configure on the PC itself. Sound terrible. There's more points. Lots of points. I fell down the pit. Go back to the beginning? Okay, that's great. Well, this game works. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can keep playing it with this sound, though. Let's go find something else, which hopefully has better sound. Actually, let's go ahead and jump to the uh, third installment. Let's do 3D, because I'm sure that it's going to sound terrible. Or uh, not sound terrible, it's going to run terribly. Because uh, Duke Nukem 3D was way after Doom, right? That's that's like Quake era, so it's going to be Quake, Quake, Quake. Not quite Quake 2 era, it's going to be like a Quake-ish era, but the, it should be pretty complex geometry, so I can't imagine it runs well at all. Um, and I tried, actually took me a while to get it even launching, so I actually did try to make sure it launched before I started the stream. And I just got to the menu, um, but I had to configure a bunch of stuff. Duke 3D. I hope it's launching. It's including user.com. We'll include it already. How big of a file could that be? I assume it's user configuration. It's probably loading it and then actually like doing the stuff in the user configuration. If it's working. Unregistered shareware version. Give it a few seconds. If it doesn't load, try it again. Maybe it's a. Uh... Oh, oh, there it goes. Yeah, see, it's my third time trying to get this to launch. I finally got it launching last time. Warning adult content. Oh, yeah, there are strippers in this game, right? A lot more loading happening, a lot more graphics and stuff. I think at this stage we're we're way past the capabilities of this uh, hardware. Cool. So bad. Although I'd be curious to see once they get the core processor, can this run uh, at all? Um, did I call it menu? Oh god. <laughs> One frame every 10 seconds. 20 seconds. No, I think it's dead. Although clearly it's still running gameplay, it's just graphically it, it can't render it to the screen. Oh man, I think we've killed it. Let's see, can we actually access the uh, Mr. menu? Okay, we can do that at least. Uh, <laughs> can I escape? Can I access anything? No. Alright, so I think that's about as good as we can do for 3. So this is 
here's a clear limitation. I don't think this game can run. Uh, which is too bad. I was hoping to get the settings really quick and like pick the lowest possible settings and see if it helps us out, but I only got a couple frames rendered before the whole thing sort of froze. Let's uh let's reboot. Sounds work, sound great. Uh sounds like I remember. It's funny because like the sounds were playing and it was working and like clearly it was running gameplay in the background. It just couldn't render. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? It'll be interesting to check out. So we know like Doom is like right almost too hard to run. Doom Nukem 3D is way too difficult. I can't run that. Um hmm. Oh, I wanna try this. Uh this is the and I did I did make sure this ran last time, but I this might not run in the current setup. Uh so this was Chexmix, the serial at a game that was based on the Doom engine. Uh <laughs> and uh it came in the serial boxes. And I remember playing as a kid and being like, wow, that was actually not that bad. And uh I wanna check it out again. I, I did load it, but I haven't played it yet. We'll see what happens. Hopefully a better luck than we had for Check's quest. Yeah, you're like you're attacking these green goop things. You can see it's like immediately, yeah, clearly it's Doom. That's just a Doom engine, and then they put, you know, a skin over top of it. Uh let's see. Let's go into our options. Go to low so we get some better frame rate. Oh, that's a terrible sound. <laughs> I don't even think we got that much more of a frame rate. Uh, uh, try that. Every time I change that. Actually, that's not too bad. Frame rate's kind of working. Let's see. Let's do it uh, easy again. So I have so much Zorch. It's my ammo. Get you vaporize them. There you go. Let's see. What does it say? Azoic Nutritional Development Center. Checks. <laughs> I forget if these guys were in a commercial or not. They must have been. Oh, I'm out of uh, ammo. So now you have to spoon them to death. You just stab them with a spoon. <laughs> Slime repellent. That's got to be armor. That thing. The health. Well, it's ammo. I see. <laughs> What's that? The spaceship. Can I get on it? Oh, I need some more Zorch. There we go. What's this? That's nothing. Oh, I bet that blows up. Or it doesn't. Maybe it was meant to blow up and they thought that was too violent. I'm kind of curious, like, who convinced them to make this? And actually, who made it? Like, did they hire a company? I can't imagine they did like an in house development team. They must have hired some company and just said, like, hey, can you go ahead and skin this for us? And then just license the Doom engine. I get stuck on this one. Oh, I need the blue key. Because it's just like Doom. Oh, that bowl of fruit. Oh, yeah, still need the. Go find that. A lot of Zorch now. Is this uh does the mouse work on this? Yeah, I want to see the logo a little better, but I can't really get a good angle in it. 
I don't think you can look up and down either, right? Like even with mouse look, it's just side to side. I think. I shoot these? No. A bowl of vegetables. Why not a bowl of cereal? Why is it not a bowl of Chex Mix cereal? Or do they have a bowl of Chex Mix cereal and makes you super strong? Or something? Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, so that works. I mean, it's pretty much the same as Doom. Different graphics kill green glob things and you're a giant Chex Mix cereal. Let's uh it's such an interesting piece of history that uh they decided to do that and have the game sold as their in their cereal. Or not sold as their but like it came I think it came with the box, like a little disc. You can go to ChexQuest.com. I wonder if I it, yeah ChexQuest just released some stuff, so is that URL still valid with the new release? I'd be curious to see. Okay, let's see what else is here. Mm, so we did do Nukums. Uh, Descent. Uh, I would love if Descent works, but I bet you a million dollars it does not work. Um, I'm, I doubt it will. I think I tried this before and it didn't load the last time I checked. Yeah, I'm sure it's the same thing. Yep, here we go. Error not loading. Yeah, the 4DW is failing. Um, there might be a fix for that, but I don't know how to make it work. Uh, this Commander Keen, which is too close to Duke Nukem, so we already kind of did Duke Nukem. Um, let's see. Type Dream, so it'd be interesting. Oh, right, Prince of Persia. Let's actually just try out the Street Fighter 2. Um, I've heard this version is really bad, so I'm. Let's find out. Cool, got some music. How's the intro? That is not great music. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going up, up, down. Just the. Easier. Change the sound. Is that better? Oh, sounds the same. Okay. That didn't seem to change much of the sound. At least not the music. Okay. We got the eight character roster. Seeing loading in a Street Fighter game is kind of funny to me. I'm just used to it being arcade or PC and there's a loading and it loads instantly. Or, or, or arcade or console, rather. Okay, so I can do high kick. And what else? That's high kick, that's high kick. What's well, not high kick? No sound, just music. Just kind of obnoxious music. Ooh, it's very floaty. I wonder how much it's... I wonder if it's really bad because of the core, not having the code processor. Or it's just how the game ran. I never played the uh, DOS version of the game. I can't get off any moves. <laughs> it's too hard. Uh, game over screen. Oh, there's like one sound effect. A single little beep. But no fighting sound effects. Uh, how do I pick character? There we go. Let's see. Let's do... Dull zoom and see what happens. Uh, 
to its credit, these are pretty big sprites. I mean, it, it looks okay. It just plays terrible. Which might not be its fault. It could be the, uh, the 46 core in this. The music is terrible, though. Curious, did the game really have not have sound effects, or is it just a bug in the core? Because the sound plus have problems on some other games too. Maybe it's not configured properly, or maybe the the actual hardware, the emulated hardware is bad. Ooh, this frame rate's killing me. You're so floaty. <laughs> Holding down, there you go. It doesn't always register your input. God, it looks so hilarious. <laughs> oh, this game is so bad. I I should try to play this game on DOSBox and see if it's actually meant to be this bad. All right, let's. Uh, I can't take this music; it's so obnoxious. Let me get out of this. Um, Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's uh, see what other games might be worth playing. Um, I have Leisure Suit Larry, which I've never actually played. Uh, you know, I was too young. It was meant to be for adults, and for whatever reason, I never pirated it or had a friend lend it to me or anything. Uh, it's Lost Vikings. Oh, there's a Mario game that was like someone made. I think it's really bad. Let me try. Uh, let's do Pipe Dreams. Let's see. Really? Did I type something wrong? There's nothing executable here. Oh, okay. Press one, six to force graphics mode. Uh, oh, okay. Go ahead and try VGA. Okay, let's see if there's a sound option. Nope. Set settings. Okay, let's just... I care. Oh, it's another function. How do we exit? A lot of function keys for this one. It's interesting. Oh, this is the copy protection, I think. Uh, oh, I guess it's it's been disabled. Oh god, how do I uh, how do I pick? I don't remember how to play this. I actually don't remember how to pick a thing. Oops, game pause. What are the controls? Anyone remember? Uh, I don't remember. And we lost. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, is there is there a mouse in this, right? Yeah. I forgot how to select a pipe. Or can I just make it go? Okay, let's try again. What is the key to put it down? Oh, game over. What? <laughs> Whatever key I pressed made it go really fast. Let's see. Options. Are there key? Oh, configure keyboard for player one. Okay. Um, up arrow. Yeah, up. Down, left, right, place pump up one. Okay, fine. One's fine. This is fine. There we go. Uh, save settings disk. 
How do I then exit this? Play. Oh, there we go. And is it the bottom one? That's, yeah, okay, it's the bottom one. Uh, well, that's not useful. <laughs> oh, that's not useful. No, no. Oh god, no. Wait, was, actually, that, one of them would have been okay. Uh, I need one that... I can place them on top of each other, I didn't realize that. Sorry, it's been a long time since I played this. But hey, it works. That's cool. I'm really bad at it, but it works. Let's do this again. I want to redeem myself. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna go around in a circle. This works okay. Uh, I don't want any splits. This sounds... I guess explosions take up more time. Okay. Cheap building stuff, but I don't have a strategy or really know how to play that well. I don't know what happens when you have a junction. Does the junction make it go multiple directions? Uh, oh, I'm about to die. Mm, uh oh. Where does it need to go? Where is the goal? I, oh, is it just to the edge? I doubt it. No, that's game over. Oh no, is that just it? Just to the edge? Oh, well, if that's the case, that's not that bad. Now, if I do a junction, what happens? Oh, I don't know what to do with that. Oops, that would have been better placed elsewhere. There we go. And then some button I think makes it go instantly if you're done. But see, what's with the junctions? Like, if it hits a. I thought it would split at a junction. I think I played this game like a handful of times, maybe. Now, was that game over because I had the junction and I, it didn't go all directions, I guess? Eh, whatever. Anyway. Well, let's see. How do we quit? No, I want to quit. Let's just go ahead. Back out of this. Go to the fast quit because I'm too lazy. And the computer boots up immediately, so it's not a problem. Now, what else is here? Let's see. Maybe I'll do one more game just for fun. Uh, Bubble Bobble could be interesting. Lost Vikings, maybe. Let's do that one. Um, what was it? Lost Vikings? Yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, and then Vikings. This game I, I have actually owned for the Genesis, but I never really played it on the PC. I know it was on the SNES, it was on PC, Genesis, I don't know what else it was on. <laughs> and hey, the music isn't, you know, terrible like some of the other, like whenever it uses like a PC stereo sound, it's so hard on the ears. But this is a uh, nice for a change. Okay, how do we get past it? Let's go to the menu. Oh, some weird graphic artifact. See the little black dot? I wonder what that is. Oh, weird. The uh, cursor was moving down. I wasn't pressing anything. Oh. It's almost like... Uh... Yeah, I'm not actually touching anything. And these guys are moving. Like... I don't know uh, what's doing that. It's funky. Well, I don't know if that's going to happen every time, or for whatever reason this gameplay is broken. Well, it makes it pretty difficult to play, though. <laughs> I guess I can go here. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, control, switch my guy. Here's a shield guy. I can still probably beat the level, even though it's pressing buttons. 
Oh, the oh, because someone died. Oh, because only two of us. Oh, I see. <laughs> and then he's uh, that's funny, the Viking send off. Oh, you can see other graphic artifacts. Look at the moon, the little like it's weird. I wonder if it's um I wonder if my mister has a bug, like something going on with the RAM, maybe. Oh. Try again. Uh yeah, right now it's totally busted, but these controls are messed up. So I can't really do anything. Uh well. There you go. So, so some games work, some games don't work. Uh it's uh I'm glad that some stuff worked. Uh and it, you know, ran pretty well for the things that did work. And Doom, you know, with enough setting tweaks, didn't run terribly. So there you go. There's the uh the Mr. AO486 core. Uh, it's not too hard to set up. And if you're lucky, the game that you like will actually run and play well. And if you're unlucky, well, I guess you have to wait for a core update. But I'm pretty impressed. I mean, given the fact that you can install DOS, install these games, and it runs uh, generally well. Really, if you want to play this stuff, you should probably play it through DOSBox. But if you know, it's kind of nice having all your games, all your old retro games on single device, and having that all in the Mr. is kind of neat. And this is easy to hook up to your TV. You get a USB keyboard and like maybe a keyboard with a trackpad so you have a mouse on the side. And you can do a, some old DOS gaming from your uh, from your couch. And uh, yeah, I, I'll probably do that every now and then. I'll put the, you know, probably some of the D&D games that I liked. Um, if we get the code processor, I'll definitely have Doom on here and I'll see how Duke Nukem handles it. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, I'm probably gonna need to get off here now. Uh, there's a bunch of other games I could test out, and maybe I'll play some. If I have any any ones that work really well, maybe I'll show them off again in a different video. Um, but for now, I think uh, I'm going to head out. So thanks, guys, and enjoy your mister. <laughs>